If you're having fun wasting time, is it still considered time wasted? I say no. check it out Ernie Ball has recently over the last couple years anyway uh, have expanded their line of the very very popular slinkies guitar strings uh, and what I mean by that is they've added a lot more uh, custom gauge sets that they did not previously have and, you know and they already had a pretty extensive uh, line of you know you, you could get a lot of different a lot of different gauge sets but uh, they've added a lot of other ones, you know, like the, the Mammoth Slinkies, the Ultra Slinkies, the Primo Slinkies, uh, there's, I don't know, probably four or five others now, as well as the Zippy Slinkies. And these are the ones that I have recently tried out. Now, if you're not new to this channel, you're probably aware that I have been a longtime Ernie Ball Slinkies guy for, you know, pretty much my entire, uh, my entire life. Uh, I've been playing guitar since I was 10 years old, and I... You know, Ernie Ball Slinkies have always been my go-to string, and I've used a lot of different uh, different gauges. I've used uh, I've used the hybrid Slinkies, I've used the regular Slinkies, I've used the Super Slinkies, I've used the extra Slinkies, I've used the skinny top, heavy bottoms, uh, the power Slinkies. I've used a bunch of them, right? I have never used anything this light before, which is why I wanted to try it. I put them here on my newly acquired Jackson Soloist, uh, and I'll post a link to that video down in the description so that you can go check it out and uh, see what this guitar is all about. But these strings are the ones that are featured throughout that entire video. Why did I want to try out something this light? Eh, quite frankly, I bought this guitar with the intention of keeping, keeping it tuned to standard E, uh, and I you know, I've always preferred light strings anyway. I've played eights before and you know, certainly played nines quite a bit. I've never played sevens, you know, and seven strings, uh, seven gauge strings, uh, these are seven to 36 to be specific. Really light strings like this were really popular back in like the 60s and 70s. Billy Gibbons, who's used a lot of different string gauges uh, over the course of his career, but he is, uh, you know, he is known for using seven gauge strings. And what I found that they, is that they perform exactly the way Ernie Ball Slinkies are supposed to perform. They feel like Slinkies, they, you know, they bend like Slinkies, uh, they sound like Slinkies, all that kind of stuff. Uh, and, you know, and they're stable, they're, you know, they're well made and they, I haven't broken one yet. Even that light of a gauge. Feel wise, I really can't tell much of a difference between these and the extra Slinkies. The extra Slinkies are their 8 to 38 set. I have, a, I have a, my white BC Rich ASM Pro that you have seen on this channel for, before that I keep strung up with uh, a set of Ernie Ball extra Slinkies pretty much all the time. These don't really feel too, too much different. I think when you get down to these, these really, really light uh, skinny strings, it's more about how it sounds more than how it feels because there's not much of a difference. Uh, doesn't, feel, doesn't seem to be much, much of a difference in feel between seven gauge and eight gauge. What I will say is it does seem to tighten up the bottom end a little bit more than, uh, you know, than the aids, obviously. Though, you know, again, the difference is, I think, pretty marginal. So I'm going to leave them on here because I can always change over to a different uh, gauge set of strings should I ever need to do so. Uh, but I wanted to share my experience here with them, uh, with you guys here today, as well as make sure that everybody is aware that Ernie Ball now has a uh, expanded their line of Slinky's guitar strings. And I, if, you're, if there's a specific string gauge that you've been looking for that you've never been able to find in Ernie Ball, you need to go back and look at them now because they probably have it available or at least something really, really close. So, links to the new Ernie Ball Slinkies will be down in the description. Please don't forget to do the YouTube thing, like, comment, subscribe, all that kind of stuff. Thank you so much for watching. Adios.